Welcome back to Comic Book Hero. And my pick for the month, probably next month too, will be Supergirl 19 and 20. The variant covers by Stanley Art Germ Lau. Now, a while back, Stanley Art Germ Lau started his alternate cover run, variant cover, I suppose that would be more correct to say. He started his run with Supergirl number 12. That issue sold out. And then the buzz died down. And I remember talking with someone. He was like, hey, I thought this was going to really, you know, take off. I thought this was going to be really big. And told him, you know, just wait. No, 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 couldn't wait. Turned over his books. You know, that was the end of it. Then there was another friend of mine. Okay, he decided that he would take his book. He got it signed by Stanley Archer and Lau. Came back nice high grade. He put it away. He checks. He notices that book is selling for $100, $150. That's issue number 12. Okay, I checked and I've looked. If you've got all of those issues, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to 18, which is that homage cover, the Supergirl one, those lots are selling for up to $50. So mind you, these were books that cost $2.99 and now together they're selling for about $50. So it pays to wait. It also pays to understand and look at some of the trends that happen in comics. Fan favorite artists who do runs, okay, on books, tend to compile a nice collection. And that collection usually is very appealing to people because they didn't buy the issues when they came out the first time. Everybody always looks at it, oh, I'll pick it up later. You know, that's no big deal. And then you come back and you realize, I can't find it. It wasn't one of those books that was hot. It wasn't one of those books that everybody was buzzing about, but it's not there anymore. People bought it. And now where are you? You're stuck. Don't be stuck. Usually what happens, there's one big book in the run. Okay, but they usually take some time to settle out. Especially if a book is going to be canceled, like Supergirl is going to be canceled, the print run on the book tends to get lower and lower as we cancel that book out. So, I mean, right now, it's say 18, 19, 20, depending you know, on the print run, which you can go online and find out. Those are good books to pick up. And then once you've picked them up, if you want to grade them, I mean, they're high quality books right now if you're getting them off the rack with the quality of the paper. May come back high grade. You go to a con, you get it signed by Stanley R. Jim Lau. You've got something really, really nice for your collection. Or you bundle them all together, you put them up. They'll definitely interest collectors who might want to curate those comics, which is something we'll talk about in another episode. So this is where you, uh, this is the aspect of comic buying I've always loved. Do you have that particular vision? See, when this started, I already knew that Stanley Art Jim Lau was a fan favorite. When I saw the Supergirl covers, since he's known for drawing really nice pictures of girls, I thought, this is a no-brainer. I'll just put these together and no problem. I'm sitting on my particular stacks. I've been letting them go here, there, what have you. Let them work their way up the food chain, if you will. But a lot of other guys just passed on it, or they just dismissed it. It was Supergirl. Hey, stories aren't hitting, sales aren't there, book is going to be canceled happens all of the time. And why does it happen all the time? Because this isn't the first time it happened. Stanley Art Jim Lau also did Batgirl covers and those took off. Those are in very high demand. At least one of them's in really high demand. I believe that's Batgirl 14. And so now history ends up repeating itself. Or at the very least, comic book buyers' interest tend to repeat itself. So hey, you got an opportunity, go out there. I believe you can still get copies of Supergirl 18, Supergirl 19's coming down the pike, in addition to Supergirl 20. She'll definitely be rebooted because of what's gonna be going on with Action Comics 1000. Brian Michael Bendis coming on Superman. They're probably gonna wanna reshape the universe a bit, bring things in line. He's probably gonna wanna play with all the toys. And so this series, which I think was commendably written by Steve Orlando, is unfortunately coming to an end. But the value is not. And that's a tip. So you too can be a comic book hero. I'll see you next time.